I'm joined now by Sam Zhao. He's the director of the Center for China-U.S. Cooperation at the University of Denver, where he also serves as professor. Thank you so much for joining us, professor. So during his visit, General Mattis said, quote, this is an important time in the history of China and the United States, so I'm here to keep our relationship on the right trajectory. Does this visit by Mattis help or hurt China-U.S. relations? I think it will certainly help uh, the relationship, as uh, he said, is a, a very critical juncture in the relationship because there are a lot of uh, tensions and a lot of issues that uh, two sides are competing at this moment. From the military perspective, uh, U.S. military has been very concerned about China's artificial land reclaiming in the South China Sea, and also they call the militarization of those islands. When China put uh, missiles, China put uh, bombers on those uh, islands, the U.S. Navy is uh, very nervous because uh, that will, from their perspective, affect the freedom of navigation. And also on some other issues, such as the Taiwan issue and some uh, uh, other, um, I mean, North Korean issue and uh, start in South Korea. All those issues are um, very important for the U.S. to talk to the Chinese. So from that perspective, uh, person to person leadership uh, meetings uh, will help to clarify some issues to understand each other's position. In fact, uh, Mattis, when he came to China, he said uh, this time he will listen. That's his job. I think it is very important for the American leaders, uh, military leaders, to listen from the Chinese perspective, how the Chinese think, what is the Chinese intention, and uh, what is the China's policy on those issues. So from that perspective, I think it's uh, very helpful for him to go to China at this moment. Well, and as you mentioned, drills and exercises seem to have increased in the South China Sea, but there have also been the reports that uh, President Xi really isn't changing his position on the South China Sea. Uh, what do you think can come out of this, really, then, with Mattis visiting? I know you said face-to-face -face is important, but what's the, the next step? I don't think they could have uh, immediate uh, result, but at least they talk to each other uh, at, a, at a very high level and uh, try to look for positions, um, solutions, uh, especially for the U.S. military leaders. Uh, as we know, that has been four years since the Secretary of Defense have visited China. So from the U.S. military, military leader perspective, to meet face to face with the Chinese leader Xi Jinping, he has been power for five years. Uh, so for four years, they have not met. That's a very, very big problem. So for them to talk to each other, then to lower level people to find some kind of concrete steps to find solutions. In fact, the North Korea issue now, I think is a very good example here. Uh, U.S. and uh, South Korea has stopped the uh, joint military exercise. I think that's a welcome uh, action from Chinese perspective. So on those issues, uh, they can talk and also see what they can do to um, consolidate those uh, progresses and uh, find solutions on the South China Sea issues and Taiwan issues. I would not expect any immediate outcomes for sure, but at least talking to each other, I think it's a very, very important first step. And Professor, you know, this uh, visit is being hailed as positive despite tensions between these two countries. And we know that uh, just a few weeks ago, the U.S. disinvited, withdrew its invitation to China for the annual RIMPAC military exercises, which are set to get underway. Uh, so what do you make of that with the timing of this meeting? Uh, as you said, uh, China is disinvited to the uh, Rim Pacific uh, joint military exercise. Uh, it's uh, uh, from U.S. perspective, it shows U.S. dissatisfaction with the Chinese uh, actions in the South China Sea. So there are some uh, uh, tensions here, but I think this is the one event at this time. This should be put in a bigger picture of the military to military exchanges uh, between these two countries. As uh, uh, Mattis mentioned that uh, he pulled the uh, very important of the meal to meal relationship between these two countries, try to avoid those misunderstanding and uh, misperceptions, uh, to avoid uh, 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 conflicts and accidents on the sea. So from that, in that case, uh, this visit 
it's a very, very crucial mo moment. And uh, in that context, uh, they will help each other to find some ways to understand the decisions from on the US side, this invite China, and also China's responses on those issues, so what they can do the next. So right. in the long run, I think it's in the interest of both countries. As the leaders, they already mentioned at the meeting that uh, they want to uh, have a good relationship. In fact, the Chinese defense minister already somehow I heard invited, I mean, uh, accept the invitation to visit the United States. If that happens, I think it will be a very good progress in the relationship. All right, Sam Zhao in Denver, thank you for joining us.